Hi, I'm Teresa Maldonado Marchak, licensed PT and certified Pilates teacher. I'm going to share with you today a few exercises requested by my sister. She asked me to curate some morning stretches. If you're anything like me, when you get up out of bed, I know I feel creaky and stiff, sometimes achy. And these stretches are meant to help get the knots out and start to lubricate your body. So I call these my fabulous five morning stretches. Let's begin with the first stretch, lying on your back because you're in bed, right? So you haven't gotten out of bed yet. You're gonna take a hold of your right wrist with your left hand, take it overhead, Flex your right ankle, and you're going to make a half moon shape with your body side bending to the left. So I'm energetically reaching my right heel away from my body. And now here's a trick. Try and elicit a yawn. It's not happening right now, but it has when I've practiced before. Grab your other wrist, flex your left ankle, and take a nice inhale and exhale and try to elicit that yawn. You feel a wonderful stretch along the sides of your body all the way up to your armpits, your arms, your legs. And incorporating the yawn incorporates something called panticulation. And panticulation is something that we see naturally with babies when they're stretching. Um, us, when we are yawning, when we're yawning, we are panticulating, which is creating a muscle contraction, a release, and a relaxation. So this first exercise was a panticulation. You also see it in animals and dogs and cats when they do that uh, downward uh, dog that you see that's a pendiculation. So next exercise from here is you're gonna bend your knees, place your hands on your thighs, and turn a little so you can see me better, and you're going to rotate your, your pelvis around a circle. So imagine your pelvis was a dinner plate and you're gonna deepen every point of the circumference of that dinner plate into the ground. My hands are on my thighs to gently press into the thighs. It helps connect my upper body with the lower body. And if your ribs want to respond with some movement, allow that to happen. Now the thing with these exercises is I want you to do it to the number of repetitions that will, feels right instinctually for your body. You'll know when you've done enough. So I'm not gonna tell you to do X number of times. From here, let's go into a little bridge. So curl your tail under, and begin to peel your spine off just to the point where you feel a stretch, maybe you feel some tightness. Stay there, pause and breathe back down and do it again and maybe the next time you go up just a little higher so I'm asking you to really listen to your body your body's going to tell you the amount the intensity that's right for you and just go slowly and make sure you're breathing for the next one Separate your legs. You can keep your arms by your side or do kind of an I give up position, which then involves opening up the front of your shoulders. And rotate, allow your legs to drape to one side and then press the top hip forward. You're gonna feel a lovely stretch all the way in front of your hip, along your ribs, all the way to your armpit and then come back to center and other side pressing breathing 
releasing, lubricating, and come back. Again, do that as many times as feels right for you. Roll to your side to come up, you're gonna stack knee over knee, hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder. Allow the shins to come off the side of your bed, use the bottom elbow, top hand to come up in one piece. That's called the log roll. We're gonna do a nice little shoulder pendiculation. First, do some shoulder circles. Circle forward, up to your ears, back and down. Just smoothly discovering <laughs> and getting the kinks out. Now we'll do our pendiculation. Slowly and mindfully begin to lift the shoulders up towards your ears. And then hold that contraction there for a moment or two. And then slowly and mindfully, incrementally, release all those contractile tissues little by little, allowing the shoulders to melt down to their resting state. And then give yourself a moment to relax and reset. You can do that one, two, three times, however many times serves you. Slow, melt, and release. Our final stretch is the modified cat cow. You can do this on your bed on hands and knees, but I actually prefer to get out of bed and do it standing. So you stand at the side of your bed, bend at the hips and knees, and place your hands on your bed. From here, exhale, curl your tail under, experiencing a stretch in your low back. It's actually quite delicious. And then inhale, lift the tail, lift the chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, scoop. Notice I'm not rounding the upper back, but I'm keeping this isolated to the lumbar spine, the lower back. And then inhale, reach. If you don't have any issues with bone density or with your discs, feel free to go into a full rounding and releasing but otherwise, just stay with the low back stretch. I hope you found the Fab Five helpful for you. Please be sure to put any comments below. Please like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and go ahead and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for joining me.